Okay, well, we'll probably have to do some sort of mid-course adjustment. Uh, let's just get the, the encounter. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly we're uh, ending up high here. Just tweak it a little bit. Okay, I think I'll uh, also create an uh, one year really. Oh right, uh, I'm in I'm in Kerbin time. I'm in Kerbin time. Okay, so I can just tell by the way it's expanding my orbit out that that is a good thing. That tells you that you're being influenced by Jewel, which is what we want. And that's a smash into Jewel right there. Let's keep it a little bit looser than that. Oh, we won't hit this anyway. I have to make the transfer, make the maneuver first, the first maneuver. Okay, so turning our probe. Everything on this was overpowered for its mission. The Taurus B can carry a much heavier payload, I think. Given how much, uh, how much engine burning we were doing on the downside, as we went down, we had to do a lot of correction to try and get close to KSC, even though we failed that. So it had a lot of fuel left over. Can carry a much heavier payload than just this. And then this probably has more Delta V than it needs to get around Jewel. Okay, we'll start now. All right, three minutes and 15 seconds. Not a half bad encounter. Well, thank you very much, Dark Chaos. Of course, uh, when you've got all the maneuver node stuff unlocked and all the parts you could possibly want, you have no excuses, right? Okay, okay. We've got sort of a different thing going than I originally planned. That's normal. I'm going to replot this one. And it's doing crazy stuff. Oh, Tylo encounter. No, we don't need that. Uh, hmm. So much for the wonderful encounter, right? Okay, dual periapsis, 89 kilometers. Now we're talking, how much does that cost? 66 meters per second? Nothing. Nothing. That moment when you realize that you have made a full... What really happens? Okay, uh... Sorry to distract me. No, no, uh, no, it's very much... Ex uh, there's no way I could hit that perfectly, and I got something better anyway. Why don't I focus on Jewel to see what's going on, because uh, I can get an encounter at uh, 89 kilometers without doing so. <laughs> this is Jewel we're talking about here. If it was Drez, maybe I could focus on it and see what's going on, but I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, alright, so uh, out we go. Everything has, has to be touched up anyway. There's no point in making a maneuver that's perfect when you know that uh, your burn is not going to be perfect. And you're going to have to make adjustments. And then, of course, there's the whole crossing the SOI boundary thing, which can always mess things up. Hold your breath. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Always have problems when going to Mars in RSS. Any advice on launchers, fuel mixtures, and so on? You can never make an adequate launcher. Just build SLS. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, what are your limitations, right? I mean, if you if you can uh, put a 7.5 under your payload, I think you'll make it. Um, if you've got if you've got SLS, I think you can get a substantial payload to Mars. Um, of course, you know. Uh, NASA's used everything down to a, uh, what you call it, well obviously a Delta IV Heavy will work, but they've used smaller rockets, they've used Delta IIs to get their payloads to Mars. So depends on your payload, depends on what your technological limitations are. Yeah, so I mean, your fuel mixtures, I mean, it depends on the engine you have, right? You've if you've got, uh, you got, you're gonna have a kerosene liquid oxygen base stage. You're going to have a liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen uh, stage to boost you towards Mars. Unless you have, of course, NASA will use a solid rocket booster in order to boost into Mars, but don't do that. 
Um, so you're gonna have probably an RL10 to boost you to Mars, and then or a J2, and then uh, obviously to uh, get into Mars orbit and do your stuff around Mars, you're gonna want monomethyl hydrazine and dinitrogen tetroxide, nitrogen tetroxide, just like that. So that is, those are your fuels, basically. Unless you want to go the UDMH N204 route, which is another route that you can do, but I think uh, I think most people will go for. Why are we off, by the way? I made this maneuver after we established this orbit, but it looks like we're like off. Okay, I think it is time to actually focus view on Jewel and see what's going on. Like as was suggested. Oh well, no, that's the plan. What's the... Well, I don't know. The the actual thing look looks bad. Just want to put something like Phoenix Lander on Mars, so... Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, you could launch it on a relatively small rocket, I'm sure. Okay, I wanted something about 120. We'll go like this. Still got a year. Okay, any other interesting questions that we might like to cover on the way? Yes, there is a settings setting in the in the setting.config file that lets you set how many conics it shows. But it actually tends to get buggier the more you do. Uh, at least that's what has been said, but uh, I, I find it very useful to increase it on, especially for like a Voyager-like mission when you have to. Well, looks like Jewel Periapsis 120, precisely. Uh, we're just doing uh, air braking tests, so I'm not going to line up with the moons. We're not going to transfer to the moons anyway. Precise note mod can change it live without restarting. Good to know. How the heck do I play without Kerbal Alarm Clock? Well, I, I've, I have a lot of experience playing without Kerbal Alarm Clock. So that's how I do it. Uh, okay, so we are quick saving now. Okay, uh, we're quick saving and... Uh, okay, we don't have a save thing there. Where do, where do we get the save thing? I don't save my games very often like this, so I don't know. But anyway, the quick saving should work. And we are going to dump the transfer stage. Right. Off it goes. So now. Oh, what? Not sure if it, it it's 1.0 compatible yet, though. Okay. I thought, I think it is. Alt F5. Why? Oh, Alt F5 gives. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, let's say thank you. Jewel. Oh, uh, yeah. Entry testing. Okay. We can use these engines to do it. Thank you. Alt F9 to load it. Yeah. So we can use these engines to correct our trajectory if necessary. Uh, uh oh. I think our separation has actually knocked us. Should have probably separated a little bit closer. So let me ignite these engines. And we need to get a little bit closer again. Uh, that is out. This is in. One seventeen. Oh, okay. Uh, just turning around seems to have a huge difference. Let's get closer. Oh, the the separation of the transfer stage, yeah, but we can't do a, a test unless we've got uh, a very standardized thing. And the standardized thing I want is 2.5 meter heat shield. That should be the only thing that is really causing drag. Hey, when you can't add a maneuver node on your... Yeah, I know. That's been an old time issue. Been around for... to plague us Kerbal players for for ages now. Well, let's go with that. 120 kilometers, 120.3 it looks like. Yep, 
you know what, uh, let me quick save here. I think we've got the fuel to do it from here. I don't want to bring it back in every time. So let me just do the quick save here and we'll see. Okay, so we are retrograde. Solar panels are in. Let us see how this dual air brake works. Most of your interplanetary craft are huge. Well, I tried to go for a middle ground here, right? This is the middle heat shield. 2.5 meter middle heat shield, right? One, uh, you once sent a mission to Jewel and its moons with interstellar soundtrack playing. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that would be pretty darn epic. You know, uh, uh, approaching Duna with Mars from the planet suite is also pretty darn epic. Uh, bets, please. Air break through or Jewel landing? Yep. Uh, Yes, do place your bets. Actually, uh, I insist, please. Tell me what you think is going to happen here. We will approach slowly so that you have time. Let me get, let me uh, tell it to hold retrograde. That's more reliable. Let's say uh, you did tell it to hold retrograde, and we'll time warp a little bit. You think air break? Air break through. Okay, two votes for that. Camera changed pretty quickly. Landing, ah. Might not even orbit, ah. So you think that uh, we will be on escape still. I wish they just, they, they probably should have raised the atmosphere of Jewel a bit too, huh? I think it was a pretty low atmosphere considering the sheer size of Jewel and the fact that it's a gas giant. Explosions make everything better. Well, that's a very, a very curable policy. MechJep can predict uh, air break, but usually underestimates. Okay, well, I haven't tried MechJep at all in the new version 1.0 or 1.0.2, so I don't know how MechJep does with the new aerodynamics. No idea. Can't even rendezvous to rescue uh, your Kerbal. Well. I haven't done a Kerbal Rescue mission in this version yet, come to think of it. Um, could end up like that, but who knows? Only one way to find out, indeed. Well, high altitude is now much less dense in Kerbin. Well, uh, but then again, when we uh, did it around Duna, we found out that 12 kilometers, which used to be a good air braking altitude around Duna, uh, brought us straight into landing. Uh, it was it was not even close. Uh, okay, well, it senses that we are under acceleration. Uh, let's see. Let, let me go to stability assist and see if it's still yeah. Okay, so that's a little bit of a interesting fact. We are under acceleration. Are we really under acceleration? Mm, no. Otherwise, the time for escape would be changing. So we're sort of in a probably an SAS-induced acceleration, not an actual drag-induced acceleration. When we say landing, what we mean is blowing up at Joule. <laughs> we don't mean landing. Yeah. Yeah, we missed the Duna Aero break. Gravity slingshot effect. My throttle is off. Yes, very much so. Or I do you mean it's miscalibrated. It's not miscalibrated. It's there's no throttle. Uh, we can uh, peak here zero thrust. Has anyone else successfully used Eve to slingshot to Jewel? Ooh, that's a neat one. That's that's like a real life kind of maneuver. That is uh, that's a good good way to go. Actually, the best way is uh, use Eve and then use Kerbin again on the way way out to boost out. But you don't probably don't even need to do that. We've got all our bets in, right? Dinner was higher, and uh, in the YouTube vid earlier, I went for one twenty point seven and came out below Tyler's orbit, right, on the hard time series. Uh, so you reckon I won't come out the other side? Right, your bet is uh, a landing, quote-unquote. 
Uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Uh, this is a lot earlier than I thought it would be. Okay, so uh, we do. Uh, let me do stability assist instead of this. Holy crud. Uh, we're not going to make it. <laughs> Is there a mod that calculates slingshot maneuvers? I don't know. But we, we're not going to make it. We've lost all of our, our blader. Yes, so the atmosphere is higher, like I would have suggested that they make it, but that is some serious height. So 120 is not going to work out for us, and if we, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're crashing. We are, we are sub, we, we, we are crashing. Well, you guys want to see explosions. I know uh, Cisha was waiting for this. Uh, I'll let it happen, then we'll reload. Uh, it didn't burn up. It didn't burn up. It used to be 137 about there. Yeah, yeah, 137 kilometers. It didn't burn up even though we melted all of our ablator, which I think it probably should have probably uh, exploded once we ran out of ablator. I think that's probably a mistake. Wiki says people have sent a probe to land on Jupiter. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No. Not on Jupiter. Yeah, oh, yeah. The atmospheric probe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to land. Uh, they, they probed the atmosphere of Jupiter. Yeah, that they did. They didn't try and actually land it. Yeah, yeah. Juno arrives at Jupiter in 2016. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so probing the atmosphere is one thing. Landing on Jupiter is not the same thing. Why is temperature overlay uh, enabled all the time? Okay, well, here. Here, let's disable it so that we get the nice explosion. Welcome. We are seeing what the air breaking altitude around Jewel might be and this sandbox mode and uh, 90, 190 kilometers for next air break sounds okay I'll do 180 okay do science good point uh, run atmosphere analysis nothing I can't believe it's nothing that's that sucks um, nothing Barometer at least, log pressure data. Oh well, this this is this is a sandbox. What's the, what good, what's the good of this? Um, all right, uh, would you recommend this? In what way? You mean the game? Yes, I would recommend the game very much. Thousands of hours worth of entertainment, very educational, lots of fun. Uh, everything you could possibly want. Chaos, uh, explosions. And uh, yeah, it's worth multiple games, as Dark Gamer there just said. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't have much of a budget for games, but I will. Yes, thank you. I'm in sandbox. I figured it out. Uh, so yes, very much recommended. And you can see any of the other streamers to see the vast variety of things we can do with this game. What I'm doing with this game right now is not what anybody else is doing with this game right now on on Twitch. And that, that just shows you how much variety there is. Okay, there is a theory that Jupiter's core is made of diamond thanks to immense pressures and the fact that carbon made by... Okay, yes, uh, eventually you'll hit diamond, okay. It is a reasonable thing to ponder but, but the chance of getting a probe down to there is not a thing we have enough trouble getting to the surface of Venus much less the the core of Jupiter I'm almost regretting uh, promising an explosion it's taking so long oh open some solar panels good point up oh, there they go uh, turn on temperature display on the thermometer uh, it matches it matches still no flames I know yeah, so the thermometer display is, uh, we don't have a shoot. 
You would call yourself a veteran of KSB? You have 2,600 plus hours. Yeah, well, oh, uh, we, we're, we're hitting the, the the black zone. The the void. Yeah, it should be the void after all. Here, real time, void. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I've made 500 videos in this game. That must... Okay. Loading, quick save. Hold us in this game is better than keyboard. Yeah, uh, I use a joystick. Uh, just a regular old SciTech uh, aviator joystick. Um, if you have more controls, that will help. Because there's a lot of maneuvering. You've got total uh, freedom of control. You've got uh, you know six degrees of freedom, three rotation, three translation. Um, you can use throttle, obviously throttle is important, and they've made the whole game much more configurable as far as that's concerned. Uh, you can use two joysticks, for instance, is a thing that uh, was added in 1.0. So, let's go for 180, just for a nice round number. Best game since Lemmings. <laughs> oh boy. That's a reference to the survivability of the Kerbals, I assume. Okay. Here we go again. Might take a while. Well, this time we won't uh, go off the explosion, okay? Yeah, there's a black hole hiding in there. There is a black hole at the center of Jewel. Well beyond humanity's reach lies the biggest treasure in the solar system. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you know, diamonds. Highly overrated. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah, I've never played this game with straight keyboard, except uh, on Primordial KSP where they didn't have the joystick configuration. Otherwise, I've always used the joystick. Leif is more like Titan than Io. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm not too sure which of our gas giants Jewel is actually mimicking more. I mean, I guess Jupiter, but it's, it's a tough call. Dark Chaos has always played with a keyboard. Wow. That is serious. That's hardcore stuff. Okay, it's still giving me acceleration. Wow. That's annoying. Okay, physical sign warp then. So verifying 180 kilometers. That is a weird trajectory we've got. I don't know what that's trying to tell me. Something about patch conics is not working right there. What do I teach? I'm a substitute teacher. I do all subjects. Uh, just high school though. So uh, I, I get everything. Depends on the day. I just walk in. I get handed a, a lesson plan and I hope the class doesn't hate me too much. A blader is going away like crazy. G-forces are moderate. Okay, we've pa passed our intended periapsis, but, but, be but the drag of course brought us down a little bit more than that. Um, we're going suborbital again. We're, we're done for. Okay, I'm not going to waste any time on this, guys. I am going to jump back out. Let's try Arrow's idea of 190. Uh, okay, let me catch up with stuff. Been playing PC games for 20 plus years now, and this is the best game you've come across? Yeah. I would say that is true for me as well. You second 190. Alright, here we go for 190. We are... Uh, we're getting some value, valuable information about the Jewel system here. 190.4, let's call it. I'm trying to end up in a low Jewel orbit, that's correct. I want to see what the lowest is. Uh, metaphor, we're trying for the lowest possible thing. Yeah, lowest stable orbit. That's what we're aiming for. I think I just answered your question, Grisbiz. It's not a career thing. Um... Do we travel out of the solar system in this game? Uh, there's nothing out there. Unless you, there's a mod that adds it. 
Okay, uh, don't you use error breaking calculator web page? Uh, the error breaking calculator web page has not been updated for KSP 1.0 as far as I know. That's why we're doing this. Uh, your day in this day in space history is radical. Yes, I hope so. That I put a lot of work into that sort of thing, and I, if anything, that's what I would like to be doing more of. They changed Jewel Atmo, but didn't change everything correctly. Good luck with this. Well, yeah, we're gonna find out. Uh, says okay, info and map mode. What are we talking about here? This? No, this is for. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay, physical parameters. Okay, 200 kilometers. All right. So we can't be at 200 kilometers if we want an air break. We have to be somewhere below that. Atmospheric pressure, 15 atmosphere. Well, I need the scale height. I could actually calculate what the air breaking altitude is if I had just one number, the scale height. I think that's probably on the wiki. Uh, it's more fun to do by testing anyway. Take a couple of hundred hours to learn this game and land on every planet moon. Well, yeah. Uh, part of the reason why we all like this game is uh, you're not going to get through it very quickly. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. So saying you've mastered the game, I mean, it's like there's so much to do that will take a while. Algebra homework? Uh, I think you should be doing that on your own, right? Can I? Yes. Will I? No. Um... Harv needs to do KSP again. No, he can do whatever he wants. Uh, I don't want somebody making videos when they're not into it. What's the point? If uh, he's not into making the videos, then it's just going to be a drag. So, yeah, it's up to him. Best videos are when somebody's into it. You smell a burning spaceship. Uh-huh. Well, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's periapsis. Scale height changes with altitude now with the new arrow. That's fine. I just need an equation for it. How it changes. That that'll be good enough for me. It's not homework homework. It's your final exam review. <laughs> I don't know whether that makes it better or worse. More significantly, I think we've got orbit. Ladies and gentlemen, 190 kilometers works. 190 kilometers is... I'm gonna say this is my minimal air braking altitude around Joule. Since we're usually trying to get around to Jules' moons, I don't see any reason to go below this. So, heat shield, 2.5 meter. Ablator, we didn't burn all of it off. Uh, all parts secure. And, hello Devin, welcome back. And uh, we have successfully air braked around Jules. So, 190 kilometers is the verdict. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe let's do Eve. Who's up for that? Shall we uh, take care of Eve this time?